get cooking, cooking, cooking with Kathy. Welcome back, everybody, and hey, all you chocoholics. Oh, boy, do we have a dessert recipe for you today and a cool event to tell you about, too. I'm in the kitchen with one of my favorite people because he makes the best pastries in the whole wide world. Thank you. And when it comes to chocolates and pretty much everything else sweet, uh, this guy rocks. He is the executive pastry chef at the American Club in Kohler, Richard Palm. So good to see you, Richard. Amy, good to be here. Really good to be here. Today we're making a chocolate molten cake, like you said before in the teas, that this is just that thing that everybody gets out in a restaurant these days, but they're so easy to make and it's so lovely. So start what we did here in that we did we a took, double boiler. We took four ounces of, of uh, chocolate and we took four ounces of a half cup of butter. Okay. And so we just melted like those. Chocolate, the best chocolate chips you could find. Exactly. Or, okay. The best chocolate chips, but best, you really want real chocolate, not fake chocolate. Got it. So really nice stuff. Then what we did here was we took two egg yolks, two eggs, fourth of a cup of sugar, really whisked those up. Then we're going to add that very quickly because we don't want our chocolate to seize. And if you're at home saying, what were the exact amounts? Don't worry. Everything will be on our website, so uh, don't worry about that. So equal parts melted chocolate, melted butter. Yep. How many eggs again? Two egg yolks, two, two whole eggs. Oh, so nice One and fourth rich. cup of sugar. Mm. In goes two teaspoons of flour. Now you're thinking, how can that make a cake? That's the whole point. This is an unbalanced recipe and is the reason why... Just make sure that all of that flour goes in, and that's the reason. Now, as you can see and as your audience can see, this is really rather runny. Best thing in the world to do, ice cream scoop, just like so. Do you Put need to in. grease the uh, the Normally ramekin? what I do is r spray this once with food release. Okay. Wait 10 minutes, spray it again with food release. That gives you just the perfect quantities. And this is one of those ramekins that can go into the oven. Um, they, you know, Pyrex And so or what whatever. I'm doing, see, and it just makes it so easy and so not messy. I'm going to put two lovely scoops in there, and that's just about ready. Wow. Anybody just can about do that. Right. Anybody and I, can do I that. I don't bake. Now, into the oven this goes, Richard, uh, about what 425 to 450 degrees, and it goes in for about six to seven minutes. And when it comes out, as it has here, voila. You look like a rock star is what happens. And see, this is the lava part. That's the lava the part. The lava part. Look at that. Good to sprinkle it with a little bit of powdered sugar just for the looks. And also then a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Oh, yeah. Wow. Now we're talking. So tell us about this event that you guys do every year at the American Chocolate Club. Night. It's the 20, 20th anniversary of the Chocolate Night. Mm. And mm. it's really, really nice. I've been there 18 and a half years. Uh, basically what we do is we do all everything chocolate. So this year we buy certain chocolates from like Norman Love or Christopher Elbow of Kansas City. Two of the most fabulous chocolate makers out on the market. We provide, we do about 18 different small pastries of our own. Plus, this year we're having as the hot dessert, we're having chocolate sticky toffee pudding Ooh. with chocolate caramel sauce, which mm. is really nice. We're doing a chocolate coffee flambe station. When you come in, you're getting a pre-dessert. In other words, it's plated. That's a miniature chocolate diplomatical cake with all sorts of fancy chocolate work on wow. it. Wow. That will wow. be really nice. So you're going to wow. get a real experience. It's $75 plus tax. It starts at 6.30 as the reception in the foyer. At 7 o'clock, we open the doors. You're escorted to your table. Everything should be wonderful. I've been Everything. there once before, and it was a night I will never forget. How was the molten cake? Um, just a little bit good. I think I might have to have a little bit more. <laughs> Richard is going to stick around on Living with Amy. It's all about cranberries. So we're going to make your most amazing orange cranberry scones mm, and a cranberry pork roast and all sorts of good stuff. But I'm going to go back to my cake. Enjoy. Please come to In Celebration of Chocolate. That's this Friday night. Really? Friday, Friday the fun 13th. I, I heard. It'll be good luck for good chocolate. <laughs> I heard some people even skip dinner. They just go right to the chocolate. Indeed. We'll be back. Stay with us.